Hey guys, Dr. Davin Lim, board certified laser dermatologist. Thank you very much for joining me this Saturday and we'll be talking about creams versus lasers, their application and how I use them and how they should be used. Um, I was approached um, two years ago by L'Oreal to be with their brand ambassador. Uh, so in other words, actually to go out there to different countries within the Asia Pacific region and actually talk about their products. I politely declined due to the fact that um, I did one gig one gig only and uh, it's scripted so uh, I always believe in actually honestly um, speaking in um, I guess layman's terms and also firmly believing in the product and not actually selling stuff so I decline uh, being their brand ambassador politely thank you very much L'Oreal for asking me but um, I'm a laser dermatologist okay um, now what they were pushing was basically a cream called uh, Revive Lip Laser Times 3. And they're pitching this against um, a fractional laser. So you can see in this video um, how the actual ad goes. And I'll go through the commentary with you in regards to how I feel um, the applications use. So watch carefully. My main concerns in terms of fine limes and wrinkles are mainly between my nose and my mouth and as always around the eyes and the forehead. Okay guys, so first of all, what was this lady complaining about? She was complaining about lines between her nose and her mouth, fine lines around her eyes and forehead area. Straight away, given the fact that she was complaining with that, uh, with those problems, a laser is not the solution. Hyaluronic acid is injectable. So we're talking about dermal fillers and we're talking about neurotoxins such as um, um, Botox that will help relax the lines on the forehead. Hyaluronic acid and fillers will actually help with the lines over here and soften the lines over there. So the answer is not laser, guys. It's actually, um, it's, it's not even laser. Um, could it be a cream? Could it be a cream like this? Absolutely. Why? Because I put hyaluronic acid in it. The trick is, however, hyaluronic acid does not penetrate the, um, the upper layers of the skin. It sits on the skin. And when it sits on the skin, because it's got such a hydrophilic, um, um, in other words, it attracts water, it's a very good moisturizer, but it acts as a very expensive moisturizer. So will it help with fine lines? Yes, it will, but any moisturizer will. Um, so look guys, hyaluronic acid belongs under your skin, not on your skin. What's going to happen is I'm going to have one side of my face have laser skin resurfacing and the other side I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Revitalift laser cream and we'll just see after four weeks if the results compare. It was um, more uncomfortable than I thought it would be. It was really quite painful. And that feeling of burning on my face was not something I'll forget very quickly. And I thought that was fairly tough. Okay, now, so she was complaining about burning and pain, and she says it is really bad. I, looking at the parameters, look, um, L'Oreal, you're a big company, you're a huge company, you're, you're a multi-billion dollar company. You can't even get the wavelength of Fraxel right. It's not a 1500 wavelength nanometer, it's at 1550. Secondly, she's, you can, she's using eight passes, and I know you turn the zimmer, which is the cooling right down. The reason why I know is because I can see her hair flickering, and that's not the flicker of a, a zimmer turned up high, it's actually a zimmer turned up very, very low. So guys, that's not good. Um, the other thing as well, use a proper anesthetic, 23-7. Don't use no anesthetic, um, because when laser procedures like that are performed, it should be almost painless, um, at, especially with those settings, uh, and with those passes. We know it because we do it at least three or four per day. Uh, and with those passes, eight passes, which is what you guys put down below, it's not, it's very tolerable. We often do up to 20, 24 passes using 23.7 and patients tolerate that. So look, um, that burning and stinging, oh man, that's bad. Uh, look, the only flip side I can give you guys credit for, L'Oreal, is that yes, you did say that the patient was paid to actually say that. So in other words, it's scripted. Okay, um, so I'll give the credits here. Let's watch more. Over the next four weeks, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Revita Lift laser product. I'd be interested to see what happens. In 
the last four weeks, I've been on a bit of a journey. My skin was actually quite uneven. In the last few days, it's evened out. I actually feel my skin looks much, much better than it did four weeks ago on both sides. I'm really happy the, the softness of the skin yes, on the side yes, that I use the Revitalift yes, laser yes. is really good. I'm yes. very happy with that and absolutely comparable to the results from the laser. I remember four weeks ago I talked about specific things that were bothering me. What I've noticed now is it's been actually an overall improvement. I can tell you that you can get similar results without the pain. So, let's have a look at the before and afters. Uh, do we see a change? Yes, we do. Guess what? Her skin pigmentation has improved. Her skin texture has improved. Uh, she's got less pigmentation, right? Um, but everything else is the same. She's still got her wrinkles. She's still got the lines between the corners of her nose and her mouth, which she, she, she complained about in the beginning. She's still got wrinkles around the eyes and the forehead area. So what the patient has come in for, they haven't addressed. But has she got better skin? Yes, she has. Why? Because this product contains beta hydroxy acids. It acts as an exfoliant um, and it can help with pigmentation. So looking at the ingredients, I looked at the ingredients very carefully. Like I said, I tried this, I'll try this cream myself over the last um, eight weeks. And yes, it's a nice cream, but does it actually do what it's meant to do, which is basically reduce wrinkles? The answer is no. So, um, but is it a good cream? Yes, I, I like it. It's a moisturizer. It does moisturize the skin. It's non-irritating. Um, and like I said, if you like it, use it. Um, there's nothing wrong against it. But to advertise to say it is as good as a laser um, in this application is wrong. Absolutely wrong. So what do I use lasers for? Well, lasers can be used in numerous applications, but certainly not for this kind of patient in this application. Lasers, you'll see shortly, can be used for different applications. So guys, enjoy the next two minutes when I explain how I use lasers. So L'Oreal, how should a laser be used? It depends on the patient's concerns. I'm using a Fraxel in this situation and the patient is comfortable due to the anesthetic and the cooling. In this situation where this pigment is concerned, I use a fractionated picosecond laser. In this situation where textural change is concerned, I use what's known as laser genesis. It's painless. It is the selection of lasers which gives you the best outcome. Now, if the patient is concerned about textural change, you should not use a 1550 laser. You should use a 1927 laser, and this will give you better pigmentation reduction. So a 1927 is better than a wavelength than a 1550. If someone has got more collagen stimulation, possibly other lasers are needed. Now, can your cream treat this? No, it can't, but a Fraxel 1927 can. In this situation where there's a marked amount of sun damage, can your cream give a difference? The answer is absolutely not. It may give a good moisturizing uh, component, but it will not give you this kind of change uh, compared to what a fractional CO2 laser can. You can see the before and the after a marked difference. And same with here with a clear and brilliant. So look, Guys, there are lasers and there are lasers. And look, there's, an app, there's a time and place for creams and time and place for lasers. So guys, please be ethical in regards to how you advertise your products. Um, thanks for watching. Hey guys, thanks very much for watching that video. It's a very short video, controversial. Yeah, uh, next thing you know, L'Oreal's gonna give me a phone call, hit me with a lawsuit, do whatever. But hey, look, that's the honest truth, okay? Um, guys, you've got to be honest with things and um, yeah, transparency through the cosmetic industry is very important and integrity is very, very important as well. I'm not against the cream. Like I said, the cream's great. Whether it does the job or not is um, a different matter. Okay, if you enjoy the cream, if you like the cream uh, and if it makes you feel good, use it. Nothing against it, okay? But if you're trying to get a job done and address the patient's concerns, Certainly use everything from lasers. Yes, I am a laser dermatologist, but I also operate, I also use dermal fillers, I also use um, Botox, and we use many other energy devices to get to the end product. It's not just about the cream, it's not just about the laser. You can't compare lasers and creams in this particular scenario. 
Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Um, I do one short video every Saturday morning, uh, sometimes controversial, sometimes funny, um, but hopefully always educational. Please share, uh, like, or subscribe to this channel, and um, I'll see you next Saturday. Thanks, guys. Bye.